Hi, this is Geshe Michael Roach. Welcome to the Peachtree Cafe show for Tuesday, February 25th. And today I have uh, two very special guests. Uh, I think I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Ben Galmi. Welcome to the show. It's a great pleasure. Thank you for coming. Uh, ben was born in Morocco, grew up in Paris. He's a real Parisian. We gave him the Paris cup uh, <laughs> for the coffee. Uh, he's a very uh, famous investment banker. He's worked for Deutsche Bank and Alliance Bank. And uh, he's also been in the Middle East. He's been a trade officer for the French government. In fact, he was the deputy trade commissioner uh, for one of the French embassies in the Middle East. And then he's been on to do, uh, he's been doing interviews on CNN. They ask him big questions and Le Monde a newspaper in Paris. And he's a very well-respected economist around the world. Recently, I think it's really cool, he's been involved with uh, the Chinese uh, platforms and he's worked for companies in Beijing and lived there and uh, helped uh, start those platforms for large trading companies. So welcome to the show. Thank you. And uh, Seiji, I'm going to introduce on Thursday, but he also has an economy uh, background. He's an economist also by, by education. So, and he's a master of the seed system uh, because he's been translating some of the ancient books, but we'll introduce him on Thursday. So today's question, which I would like to ask myself, is, uh, you know, it's a very strange thing to sh and it affected me personally to shut down the airlines mm -hmm. between China and America and uh, all of the trade and mm -hmm. uh, all those ships going back and forth, uh, car parts being made in China, electronics being made in China, and suddenly the whole country is, is stopped producing things, people are nervous to buy things. Uh, the whole international trade uh, with, with the biggest you know, trading person in the world, mm -hmm. China, is being disrupted. So I think it's a concern to all of us, and we'd like to know what you think about it. Mm -hmm. What do you think of what's going to happen? What's the future? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah, indeed the uh, the 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 world uh, all of a sudden realized how interconnected we all are. How the global value chains are all uh, interconnected and dependent on each other. And uh, China obviously. Uh, has been rising in the last uh, 20 years as the, one of the major uh, global va value chain in the world mm -hmm. in, in many sectors, uh, auto automobile, uh, biotechnology, uh, new technologies. And so China is in the middle uh, of the world economy and uh, it's the second, if not the first one, depending on the mm -hmm. calculations. Mm -hmm. and, and, and indeed, what is happening now is... Uh, clearly showing how interconnected we are mm -hmm. uh, now the question is how long is how what is the impact and that's the that's on everybody's mind um, I, I feel that the government right now has been very uh, very good at containing everything and uh, the uh, impact economically uh, is obviously very high on everybody's minds uh, the Chinese government of course uh, which is trying very hard in a very tough balancing act, but mm -hmm. uh, it's succeeding in doing it. And the rest of the world as well, other economies, uh, Europe, uh, Germany is definitely one of the most connected to China, France as well. Uh, there are direct flights between many of the, Fran the, uh, many of the French cities, mm -hmm. uh, between Paris and Nice. Mm -hmm. um, these are cities which are directly connected to, to China, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Germany as well. So when the decision to uh, close the airlines and reduce, uh, reduce the, the flights between Europe and uh, China, when this decision was taken, it was a very hard decision and very sad and very hard that that needed to be done. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, uh, I, I think that what is, what is happening now is, uh, is going to be a question of how long this lasts. Mm -hmm. And uh, there seems to be some uh, understanding of the uh, economic, economic impact, mm -hmm. depending on how long this lasts. If, if, if it takes more than one more month, then the impact is going to be more long-lasting. Mm -hmm. But if it's uh, 
uh, within the next four weeks, then mm -hmm. probably we will see a, we will see a resumption mm -hmm. and we will see some what we call catch up effect. Mm -hmm. What hasn't been done in the first quarter will probably be happen in the second quarter, and you're going to see some of these V rebounds. So that's very that's very technical mm -hmm. uh, for the time being, mm -hmm. uh, but what uh, what what is happening right now as well is that it has raised some debates mm -hmm. uh, in Europe, for example, about um, global value chains. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in the US, well, it's very sad that there was a trade war already yeah. going on before, yeah. and that's very, um, very sad. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, what we're going to see uh, once this crisis is over is probably a uh, uh, a common understanding of how these global value chains uh, uh, work mm -hmm. and um, we, we will probably be uh, uh, engaged in a, in a common dialogue mm -hmm. uh, because that, that's what this crisis is showing is that we're all in it together yeah, it's cool. not just China cool. um, we're, we all have to work together uh, and yeah. that's probably what's going to happen after the crisis is to um, realize that we need to all work together and mm -hmm. transcend our uh, uh, competitive mind, basically. So I'm going to ask you, I heard a big thing in China right now is that well, after the SARS epidemic, mm -hmm. that there was a huge rebound in the economy. Like people were locked up in their apartments and then suddenly they get to go out right. and they start buying mm -hmm. like crazy. What do you think? Anybody like something like that? Or? Well, it's interesting because in um, I, I, one of the things that I do is I work for the Diamond Korean Institute and the Southern College, and we get we have a lot of friends in mainland China, and I've been having the opportunity to talk to a lot of them. Cool. And one of the first things that I've asked them is, "How are you feeling during these these times?" I mean, I had to stay home uh, for about a week because yeah. I, I got sick, and yeah. I was going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then being there for a month. Yeah. But one of the cool things that has come up in, in our meetings is that they're taking this time, at least the people that I know, I cannot yeah. say that this is mm -hmm. common for all the people in mainland China, but they've said that they've taken this time to take it kind of like as a, uh, kind of like a retreat to be able wow. to, to get uh, back to themselves, think of their, mm -hmm. their main purposes in their lives. And to, mm -hmm. some of them have even have some cool ideas of what they want to do with their lives. So I think, like you said, it can be, a problem in disguise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least the people that I've, that, I've, that I've talked to, they seem to be now on the turning point of saying, you know what, this forced me to, to come up with new ideas. For example, a lot of them are thinking of how to be able to make this an online, an online opportunity, for example. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so you think more things will be done online? Absolutely. I, I'm worried about Absolutely. the education in China. I'm thinking if... If, if, if everyone gets used to doing education online, then maybe it will start being only online mm -hmm. and then kids mm -hmm. don't meet each other and, and it would be a strange thing to me. It's, um, it's very interesting because um, China is also uh, already so advanced technologically in terms of uh, the, these new... Um, th there are new tools mm -hmm. that, could be, that could be used Recently, I heard about uh, a learning system where, uh, which is for learning how how to do carpentry. Wow. Very, very simple, simple. And the, the the teacher who is teaching to hundreds of people around the world is actually having a camera on his, and 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 wow. the students can see can see what the teacher is doing. So there may be some uh, experiential tools for which China is, is already very good. Yeah. And that could be used in, uh, in education and, uh, and, um, and, and schools and higher education as well. So, and, but, but you're right, this, if this goes too far in one direction, yeah. that, that poses a, a, a question about... Uh, Interaction about of human inter beings. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. I have a question for you. So mm -hmm. Seiji, I don't know if you, you know, he's working on a text. It's a thousand years old mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, from ancient India. And uh, he's been working on it for three, over three years now, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a book about correlations mm -hmm. uh, between, uh, it's called Karmic Correlations. Can you explain what is a correlation? Mm. And then maybe mm -hmm. you could tell us... Uh, 
what are some correlations we could use for, for the virus? You know, how, mm -hmm. how can one person affect the, the world economic right. uh, risk of this virus? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, one of the cool things that I really like about my book is that it explains the idea, this idea of correlations. And correlations, I know it's a funny word, but it's, it mainly means uh, what we've been talking about in this channel about cause and effect. Mm -hmm. What you can do and what, what a certain action uh, does in the future. So you do this and then as a result you get that. You mean it plants a mental seed. <clears throat> right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly what we've been talking about, planting seeds in your mind. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, uh, creates, always has to create a result. Mm -hmm. And some of them are obvious, some of them are more difficult. Mm -hmm. But in this case, for example, I think uh, the, the question on a lot of people's minds, the way that I understand it, is is this... Uh, um, actions that are being taken is going to have an impact on the economy. Mm -hmm. And I would say from the correlation standpoint, yeah. if, if we continue helping people, in this case, uh, being su uh, financially successful, mm -hmm. then the only thing that can come from that is uh, financial success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think it's just Absolutely. about being creative and finding mm -hmm. other ways, like if we cannot go out to the streets, finding mm -hmm. other ways that we can help people be financially successful mm -hmm. so that we yeah. keep continuing planting seeds this, uh, mm -hmm. without this situation affecting us too much. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can a normal citizen do? I mean, like somebody in France or... Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. By the way, you're both very fluent in French. You want to show us? <laughs> Bien sûr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> correlation in French. Correlation. Correlation. Uh -huh. Le co Le correlation. correlation. No, by discussing. Oh, <laughs> 30 seconds. On continue en he was brought up in a French. Yeah, 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 yeah. His, French, his French is good. Yeah. Alors, si on veut avoir, euh, euh, avoir de l'argent suffisant pour oui, pouvoir oui, vivre, oui. alors on doit euh, être sûr oui. de, de planter des, des, des bonnes graines. Des bonnes, des bonnes graines. De, des bonnes graines. Ah. Oui, tout à fait, je suis d'accord. De, de, de aider autres personnes à avoir de l'argent. Et tout à fait. D'accord, d'accord. Tout à fait, d'accord. So, so, what's that normal thing that, you know, you're a global economist, mm -hmm. you're a pretty famous economist. Thank you. And Thank uh, you. you're also very familiar with the seed system. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what would you think that, what do you guys, you're both economists, but what do you mm -hmm. think, Ben, what do you think normal, what can a normal person do uh, to help mm -hmm. out with the global impact of this thing? I think that every citizen in the world, yeah. uh, the French, the Germans, the, the, uh, the, the Americans, uh, South Americans, should all be thankful to every single citizen in China mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, as you said, it's, I, ca I can't stay more than three days at home, locked. Yeah, 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 and it's yeah. totally, it's very, and so we should be thankful for uh, what every single Chinese is doing right now yeah. to limit the, ex yeah. the, the extent of the, of the epidemic because they, they are doing it for us. So it's a sacrifice for us. Really, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so that, that I think um, from the seeds, from the seed system point, uh, I think that uh, this is already planting a seed in, uh, in our mind mm -hmm. To recognize what others are doing for us. To have gratitude. To have gratitude. Gratitude uh, seems to be a big seed. Your book's right. all about selfishness. How does that play in here? Well, you know what? Now that what Ben was saying was very interesting because I think uh, what the, the people in mainland China are doing by uh, taking the, by themselves, keeping themselves from going out mm -hmm. and doing this sacrifice, mm -hmm. they're actually planting the seeds for this not to spread out. Mm -hmm. So actually this is a, a direct mm -hmm. action for this mm -hmm. to be over. Yeah. For the, because they're, they're basically what they're doing is protecting mm -hmm. other people's lives, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So Absolutely. They're, they're, in my opinion, and according to what you just said, they're doing exactly what they need to do mm -hmm. to Absolutely. stop from these two, well, both on the conventional yeah. and on a deep level, mm -hmm. they're stopping the, the sickness from getting out. Absolutely. And by doing that, they're planting health. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I think that's a nice take on it because I, I don't think, I mean, I'm from America, I live in America, and I, I, we don't get a lot of encouragement from the government or anybody to, mm -hmm. to thank the Chinese people for that sacrifice of staying indoors for a month. I heard it's mm -hmm. very, very difficult for people. Absolutely. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. people fight with each other when you're stuck <laughs> yeah. in a house. You yeah. get stuck in a house with your best friend, mm -hmm. you're going to start fighting after two days anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. It's, it's difficult, it's very difficult. So maybe we should thank them. 
Yeah. And yeah. maybe that's a way, according to the seed system, gratitude has a huge impact on, on seeds, on mental totally. seeds. So. Totally. That, that's, the, that, that's, that's the first, uh, that, that's the first uh, thought that I, that I, that I had yeah. when, I, when I saw uh, how uh, each of my friends, they send me yeah. messages and uh, I check on them and, and, uh, and basically I'm thankful to them, to each one yeah. of them. So um, I like it. So here you guys have from Peach Tea Cafe a world famous economist uh, and another economist. Uh, telling us that I think uh, the best thing we can do to to affect how it's going to affect the global economy is mm -hmm. to have gratitude for the people, also the people on the front line, the doctors, the nurses. I heard mm -hmm. many are infected now, and yeah. just yeah. I think gratitude is the best thing yeah. we can do. Yeah. And thank you, uh, Ben. I hope oh, you're going to come yes. back on Thursday. I hope you come back and be with it's us. Great pleasure. And I hope you come back many, many times. Uh, personally, yeah. I get a world economy update from him about every six mm -hmm. months we sit down for a few hours yeah. uh, and we hear about that stage you got a question for sure for, uh, we have a question, question uh, that will be answered West. tomorrow yeah. uh, by scott and Reid. so yeah they gave me a trick is watch the reflection in the window when you mm -hmm. hold it up good morning everyone this is asif from london uk my question is related to if someone is not a big earner, has a small salary, should he only set small goals or should he aim for the sky? Thank you. Wow. So okay. that, uh, Scott and Maria will be answering that. And that's, uh, you know, if I just have a small salary now, uh, should I just stick to small, reasonable goals or with mm -hmm. the seed system, maybe can I expect something? Right. So, thank sounds you like guys. a very cool question. Yes. Yes. Thank you, guys. Uh, how do you say? Uh, merci. 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 Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup for coming to the show. Uh, we'll see you later on in the week. I uh, hope you guys like the show, and we'll see you tomorrow for this question about limiting income. Bye. Bye. Bye.